Phil. Hello, Griff. Uh, today, we are reviewing Lagunitis The Censored Rich Copper Ale. Uh, this That's is from, from Petaluma, California. Which I probably said that one wrong too. Probably. But sorry. It's from Petaluma. Intercourse, Pennsylvania would be just too, too appropriate. Alright, it's definitely a rich copper ale. Yeah, good color. Smells like a beer. <laughs> Amber post as a not anything too strong, really smooth, nothing, um, nothing that really stands yeah. out. But well, you can definitely tell it's a beer, right? And it's got a good spice on the end, but the smoothness is is really as I lisp it out, it's, it's really surprising. Yeah, and the hops are very very dry, so you definitely get a, a copper taste to it too. You know, a, just a, a straight dry bitter. As once it warms up, the malts maybe they don't become more apparent. But the hops kind of cut a little bit, and, they come and that the makes the whole beer seem like it, it loses that bite at the beginning. Right. Just, it's like a little, little well, bit, though. You know, you know, so I agree with you on that level. That I'm not saying it's bad. bad. I'm just yeah. saying it's it's a, it's it. Well, I, I, maybe let me take bland back and to say it's it's very mm, flat line. So it's the dead. flavors of not dead, so but but, but dead. the flavors not changing, right? Right. It's worse I mean, there's still like you know, <laughs> breathe. That is uncalled for. Anyway, I think that actually ruins the beer. Probably. Maybe it'll make it taste better. Oh my god! Oh, he's a hater. <laughs> Total hater. Uh, no. So you always need one devil's advocate. All right. So. I really like this beer. Um, I really like an amber. It's always the beer that I go for. So like a red, an amber, a copper ale. Um, there's a few that this brings to mind, actually, a brewery that is no longer brewing the Boulder Beer Company. Um, it was a Oasis Brewing Company in Boulder, and it had a Scarab Red Ale that I used to always buy a case whenever I was in Boulder because I loved it, and this is a lot like it. It was stronger. You could tell that it was a rich kind of red, amber taste, but um, it certainly wasn't weak. I give this a, I give this a low eight. Graham. <laughs> you always want to say the last word. It's killing you inside. So, I will kill you. <laughs> um, you know, I'm gonna have to go with Brad. Is that you know, this is just a a copper ale. Sometimes I'm, I don't like copper ales as much because the copper is just a little bit too much. Um, like I felt like the spring fling was. Like we said, um, you know, your mouth over a hose with a penny in front of it. So it's like it took a, so a watery spring beer and that added a bunch of copper flavor to it, however they did it, and it just it did not really go with me too well. Um, this though, the it's the hops that provide a dry bitterness, and then the malts that make it really smooth. And um, I'm actually gonna have to go with. A high eight, if not a nine, wow. just because of this, uh, it approaches the style of the beer so well that it might not be my first choice, you know, between this and an IPA. But if I had to only drink coppers, this would be probably way up there. So I agree. Yeah, probably. Uh, if you know, if I if I was presented with this uh, at a bar, I would totally do it on tap. It may probably, maybe even two. Um, I would probably rate it on the overall scale, however, a little lower, maybe a high seven yeah. for my personal scale. But, but it is.